audiogo.com, the web read for you. Romney operatives caught handing out fake ballots in Nevada and Maine. Attempts to divide and disrupt official Ron Paul delegate slates. Romney sends in lawyer that stole election for Bush in 2000. Two separate incidents captured on video this weekend revealed desperate attempts by Mitt Romney operatives to divide and disrupt official Ron Paul endorsed delegate slates by handing out fake ballots to attendees at the state conventions in Nevada and Maine. The video below captured by Ron Paul supporters in Nevada on Saturday exposes a provocateur wearing a Ron Paul t-shirt being caught handing out a fake delegate ballot in an attempt to dilute Ron Paul supporters' votes. The ballot that the man was handing out looked very similar to the official Ron Paul endorsed slate, and was even printed on the same lime green color paper. However, the names on the ballot were different. It is not clear whether the man was officially affiliated with Romney, however, it is clear that he had a fake ID and was passing out fraudulent documents designed specifically to look like the official Ron Paul delegate slate for Nevada. Watch the video, remarkably. This was not an isolated incident. The very same thing happened in Maine, indicating that there has been a coordinated effort by Romney operatives to trick Ron Paul supporters into diluting their votes. As Paul campaign volunteer Ginger Taylor explains in the following video, Romney supporters circulated not one but two different slates, to make Paul voters think there had been a change in the official list of delegate nominees that were being endorsed by the Paul campaign. Paul supporters including Taylor herself, were forced to officially announce a withdrawal of their nomination to the National Convention as delegates, even though they had never agreed to stand in that capacity. The attempts to dilute the vote and swing more delegates Romney's way ultimately failed miserably thanks to the quick thinking and alertness of Paul supporters. Paul won a huge majority with 22 of the 25 Nevada delegates up for grabs, leaving Romney with only three. In Maine, Paul supporters were elected to 21 of the 24 delegate spots. The under-the-radar strategy to win delegates by Paul Ron Paul supporters is starting to pay off. In addition to Nevada and Maine, the congressman has now won a majority of delegates from Iowa, Louisiana, Massachusetts, and Minnesota with many other caucus states expected to follow. In some states, including Nevada, party rules adopted last fall, dictate that since Romney won the caucuses he will get a set number of delegates who are bound to vote for him. Paul supporters say delegates will abide by those rules in the first round of balloting at the National Convention in Tampa, but that all bets are off if there is more than one round of balloting. As we reported last week, the Republican National Committee has threatened to refuse to allow the entire delegation for Nevada to be seated at the National Convention because Paul supporters have secured a majority of delegate slots. Now, with Paul's victory in Maine, the Romney campaign has dispatched top lawyer Benjamin Ginsburg to challenge the results. Ginsburg was George W. Bush's lawyer 2000 and helped secure the now infamous Florida recount, which ultimately secured Bush the presidency. Charles Cragen, a Romney supporter who lost Saturday's bid to chair the convention, called the turn of events in Maine bizarre. Krajan threatened that the Paul-led delegation may not be recognized at the National Convention because of violations of rules of procedure this weekend in Augusta. They have so phenomenally screwed this up that they will go to Tampa and not be seated, Krajan said. It is becoming increasingly clear that the Romney campaign and GOP officials are fretting over the resurgence of Ron Paul's campaign and fear that Paul supporters could still have a huge impact on the outcome of the nomination process. Romney supporters and potential operatives have now been caught red-handed engaging in dirty tricks in an attempt to derail Paul's surge. Source-related posts Uh, come up and see me here and we will take care of it. We've actually got uh, like fraud committed by the GOP putting fake uh, Ron Paul. Oh, I see it in your eye. It's very good. Sir, how are you feeling with Romney's campaign? You are very deceptive. Following the story here, this is the guy responsible for handing out fake credentials for Ron Paul. Huh? There's other people. Other people? I hear a shot of that. 
There's other people too. Oh yeah, we're trying to find them. John Lyon County. All right, so GOP will sink to new level. We're waiting for the police or someone. We don't need all of you here, right? This is the media. I'm with, yes, I'm yeah. with the media. Yeah, freedom of the press. Observe this press. Is this I gentleman have, a guest in the hotel? At all. I'm not going to have anything to use. Or is he trespassing on private property here? Okay. That's okay. That's okay. So I'm not going to. Sir, do you know if this man's a guest in the hotel or if he's trespassing on private property? I just got here. Oh. So here's the guy, Mitt Romney supporter, wearing a Ron Paul shirt, sending out fraudulent documents trying to uh, change the election. Hello? He was in there passing out fraudulent documents. Yeah. So this is fake. Absolutely. Yeah. So if he's done that, he's actually committed a fraud. Right. So he basically called the police. That's all we're waiting for. Presenting fraudulent documents is that a crime? He's got it. Got it. Alright, cool. Alright, well, Blake the Eccentric here, so I wanted to do a little follow up on the uh, what happened with the, uh, the voting fraud here. So, this is, uh, you get two ballots right here. Uh, these are your voting slates, vote for the delegates. And uh, here is, uh, the, this is actually the official Ron Paul ballot. And you can tell, actually on the bottom, it's authorized and paid for by Ron Paul. Um, so anyway, and it's two-sided. But So they actually had uh, Mitt Romney uh, supporters. And I mistake, I, I said GOP earlier, sinking to a new level. It's, it's be far more accurate and more fair to say it was uh, the Mitt Romney campaign. But anyway, I'll just show you. They actually uh, got the color right and everything. So I don't know how they did it, but they, they pulled this one off. But it doesn't say, and although it does uh, say it's an official ballot, it doesn't say like endorsed and authorized by the Ron Paul committee. So I don't know if that's some more legal loophole or not. But yes, dirty tricks uh, they're trying to pull at the uh, Nevada state election. So it was an exciting trip, but uh, that's, uh, that's my story. So thank you for listening.